My relationship with apples started when I was young, growing up with my family, and we'd go to the Yupik apple orchard and we'd get our haul of apples and drink fresh juice. Most mass-produced ciders just either made, like the really cheap ones are made from corn syrup and concentrate and flavorings. My cider's all naturally fermented, unfiltered, unpasteurized. Very simple methods, I just get apples and crush them and ferment it. Fermentation is a simple process. Get down into the details as much as you want and like know all the science, but basically you're just letting yeast eat sugar, you know, and people have been doing it for thousands of years. You can make wine from Concord table grapes, but it's not going to be that great a wine, so it's the same thing with apples. It's a labor of love for me. Like, I approach cider making, it's kind of like more artistic than it is scientific. First thing that you, you sense when you take a sip of cider is just how sweet it is, so you immediately get a taste if it's dry or if it's sweet. As you swallow it, you kind of get the acids on your tongue and then you like the tannins on the back of your throat. The way I make cider, it's, it's the hard way, it's the slow way, you know, traditional way where it takes, you know, five or six months from when I get apples in until when it's ready to sell. It's a good way to just make a beverage that hopefully people appreciate and enjoy.